Yo, what it is, YouTube? It's your boy Nissy coming back with another Bulls Eye of a tutorial here today on the channel. I wanted to show you guys how you can mix some of those mainstream melodic trap vocals. And the artist I got here for today is gonna be Trippy Red. So, yeah, the artist I have right here is Trippy Red. I actually like his music a lot. I actually like, especially in the very beginning. So, this is a throwback song with him and XX Tentacion, you know, one of my favorite artists as well. He was born kind of like in the same place as me, that's Pompano Beach, Florida. So, yeah, I did this one. It's called Fuck Love. It's X and uh, Trippy Red on the same song together. So, let's see how we were able to get some of this sound, some of this underground type of melodic trap sound. And also, if you guys do like this template, go ahead. You'll see the link down below you could grab it don't forget to like comment and subscribe also if you have any more different um i i suggestions for artists so let's get right into it right away let's not waste no time i want to get us to listening to a little bit of uh you know this trippy red vocal template let's go yeah, i need you in my life in my life please baby that goes switch your size switch your size that's way is it where you reside you reside please baby that goes switch your size Okay, so we know that Trippy Red is very well known for having those rock star type of vocals, but let's look at how close uh, we were able to get to the original song. Ooh. Baby, I need you in my life, in my life. Please, baby, go switch his eyes, switch his eyes. I swear this is where you reside, you reside. Please, baby, go switch his eyes, switch his eyes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you guys can see, we were able to get 100% accuracy trippy red. So let's look at this right away. You know, this vocal preset that we have here today. If you guys are interested, you're going to see the link down below. Uh, but let's get to listening to what it sounded like before and after. Hopefully, I could get it to uh, get level matched. So let's listen to what it sounded like before and after. Yeah, I need you in my life, in my life. Please, baby, that goes switch your size, switch your size. That's where is it where you reside. Okay, the results are speaking for themselves, and we were able to really get that home recording to sound like something that really fit into the beat. You know, I like that beat a lot because it's kind of like a very, how can I say with that beat specifically? It's like a, it's like a cloud. It makes me think of a pillow. kind of makes you think of Dragon Ball Z when that boy Goku was flying on top of that little cloud. So let's look at how we were able to get it sounding like that. Okay, so we have the SSL E channel. Of course, understanding Trippy Red's vocal, he has kind of like that grunge type of vocals, what I would call it. It reminds me of like Nick back and I'm throwback you know boy bands and emo like type of swag so you know of course I love to use a little bit of the green knob but hardly use it but for somebody like Trippy Red whose vocal isn't too powerful I like to use the green knob to help it add a little bit of presence especially because it's kind of like the whole beat is like kind of like a cloud so I want it to be like an air balloon I want my vocal to be like an air balloon I want it to still be like inside the clouds but you can still like see it and like see the shape and everything so I use the green band to push a little bit of presence uh, of course after that we were just kind of cleaning up like the low uh the low mid for trippy red's vocal especially because our first high pass filter was not very aggressive it was only 30 uh 30 uh, 30 hertz somewhere around there so I, I was i got a little bit more heavy handed with this sometimes for my first eq i might do like 100 90 it depends on the vocalist and trippy red he kind of got like a lighter voice his voice ain't too deep so i'm looking to have a little bit of that presence so i can see it like that balloon in the sky then after that of course i'm trying to add some transient to trippy red's vocal and that's 
why I went to the SSLE because I know that VCA dynamic section can add a little bit of transient, a little bit of snap as well. So you can add snap through not only EQ, but also compression. But you got to understand what's inside of the compressor and the nature of it. You know, two compressors are usually smoother, but a VCA compressor like the API 2500 or the Waves, it just got a little bit of ha to help you, you know, cut through the mix. You reside, please pay the road, switch his eyes, switch his eyes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I use the gate because when you hear uh, that, that breathing part in between Trippy's lyric, like I kind of wanted to enhance that as well because that just makes it feel a little bit real. Like he's really sweet, fuck love, which is I. You know, it kind of really just makes it more believable. So that's why I use the gate right there with the kind of a release that kind of like chopped it a little bit now you heard that <laughs> rather than it to just be a regular breath that kind of faded away now because of that that release time with the gate you can kind of feel a little bit better so that's a way of boosting nuances through gating and compression you know so this um cla 3a it's not like the la 2a the la 2a is actually a little bit brighter because it has a little bit of tubes you feel me on the amplification circuit but the 3a it just only has like transformers and the optical component which is light and of course you know like with the 3A, we always got to understand it's program dependent, you know, so you can't really touch the attacker release. But most important thing I'll, I usually go for it when uh, the rapper maybe isn't rapping too fast, because if it's like, duh, 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 I might have to go to something like an 1176, something that's a little bit more responsive. So that's what you want to think about your compressors, the sound, but also responsiveness. Can it keep up? You know, you don't want it to be a situation where your compressor is like the tortoise, but the rapper's flow is like at the hair and it can't really keep up. Baby, I need you in my life. In my life, please pay the road, switch your side, switch your side. That's where is it where you reside? You reside, please pay the road, switch your side, switch your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, please don't throw your love away. Please don't throw your love away. Please don't throw your love. So I use the LA3 understanding that I'm on the limiter. And that has a lot of abruptness, a little bit of aggression to Trippy Red's vocal. Uh, just to do a little bit of more utility, construction worker type of EQ. I'm not looking for nothing pizzazzy. Sometimes I might go with a different EQ because just having the EQ open alone will give some swag, like a mini EQ or a mag EQ. You know, you got to understand that sometimes certain EQs also add a little bit of flavor. So maybe you just don't want to pull out a random EQ because some of these EQs add like noise as well as they add like a little low bump just because they're trying to model the circuitry so i like the req because it's very flat and it's just very transparent but still very musical with the actual curves the shape of it so i cut off a little bit of low mid a little bit of that congestive you know you know type of uh, nasally i'm sick night cool i need some night cool type of sound i kind of cut it off right here and just boosted a little bit of top as well just to help out trippy reds kind of like his inflection so it just eyes come through a little bit more my life in my life please baby Switch your side, switch your side. That's where is it where you reside? You reside. Please pay the road, switch your side, switch your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, please don't throw your love away. Please don't throw your love. So it just really, like, in a sense, like that, just using that EQ to help Trippy Red's articulation start to come out. After that, I just use the C4. I love this preset. It's called like a pop vocal. And what it does is kind of like hypes up the vocal. Like it just really starts to, I think, is it upwards? Um, it's kind of like, it kind of sounds like it's upwards expansion, but it's really not. It's really compressing it. You know, if I was to uh, put these to like positive numbers, then it would be adding volume. But something about this preset, it really just sounds like a pop vocal, it really just hypes it up with kind of like those fast release times and those fast attacks, very grabby, but still um, not killing the dynamics of the vocal. So I love this preset on the C4. In my life, in my life,
So I don't know what it is. Even though it's compressing the vocal, it's still helping it cut through a lot more. So I love using that C4 pop vocal. So you can use like a multi-band compressor to control stuff, but also add excitement as well. Kind of depends on the attack and the release time. So like the whole signal is just kind of like, like just jumping around a little bit, you know? So it's adding some of that hype. So I love that preset for hype vocals. After that, we have the CLA 76. Kind of use it on Bluey because I want the vocals to still kind of be bright. And every single move I'm making is just really helping uh, be like a lighthouse, you know, at a beach or something like that. Just kind of shooting that light into the to the sky, which is the beat. This beat sounds like a cloud. But then you, now you can start hearing everything a little bit better through all this processing that we pick. Then we got something like the CLA 76. I think only really hitting, uh, you know, 1 to 3 dB, uh, it, of course, with the release time being, you know, kind of medium, but it's uh, 1176. It's got FET components, so by nature, it's like one of the quickest compressors. So even on medium release, it's still fast compared to a lot of compressors. Baby, I need you in my life, in my life. Please, baby, there's no switching sides, switching sides. That's where it is it where you reside, you reside. Please, baby, there's no switching sides, switching sides. So something about that brightness from that blue stripe really also helps things cut through. So you can use compression, multi-band compression to make things cut through. You can use EQ. It's a plethora of ways to, you know, get to the final destination. You want to take the city bus. You want to take the train. You want to go there by airplane. It does not fucking matter in music. You just got to figure out your way of getting there to the end goal. After that, Arvox to add a little bit of body. Switch your sides, that's where it is it where you reside, you reside. Please baby, don't go switch your sides, switch your sides, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, please don't throw your love away. Please don't throw your love away. Please don't, please don't. So using the Arvox as like a smoothing type of compression for Trippy's vocal, you hear the Arvox kind of like, it just really made it like sit into the track a little bit better, which is very weird because I usually use it to help cut through the track a little bit better. So yeah, even a, a plugin as simple as that with three knobs, just the way you put it into the chain can also influence like the function and everything like that. You know, your bones and your goddamn body is lined up a certain way so that it can move a certain way. You know, like your elbow is right here for a certain reason. Your fingers, the joints in your fingers are lined up a certain way so they could be flexible and used in different ways. And the same shit applies to these plugins. So after that, fresh air, I love using this to help it make it sound a little bit more mainstream uh, and breathy. And then after that, you know, after that to kind of like uh, counteract the move, I had a, a J37 tape. So I made the vocals bright, but then I threw them into the J37 tape to kind of smooth off that brightness because I don't want that digital edge. Sometimes I do. I do like that digital edge, you know, I kind of use the, the digitalness as a tool. You know, sometimes I want analog smoothness, sometimes I want a digital edge, but it's all coming down to how the music is talking to me, you know, like the image that I have in my head. I feel like I'm an artist. I feel like I'm Picasso. I feel like I'm Moses, uh, not Moses, but Mozart when <laughs> I'm doing this process as an engineer because I'm like, mm, how, do, how do I hear like that cloud? I know the beat is a cloud because the beat definitely sounds like a cloud, but how can I make like everything become clear? How can I make that cloud open up a little bit more so now i can see the sky behind it which is the lead vocal so yeah using the j37 helps uh the vocal kind of sit back a little bit more and kind of smooths off the transients in my life in my life please baby there's no switching sides switching sides that's where it is it where you reside you reside please baby there's no switching sides switching sides So paying attention to somebody like Trippy's vocal, his vocal does have harshness when he switches sides. Like he kind of has a little bit of that harshness like built into his vocal. So it's important to understand that as an engineer too, you know, some people 
they have certain strengths and others have certain weaknesses. That should kind of play into how you determine your processes and not what's a formula somebody told you or that you kind of figured out. You know what I mean? So after that, we had like a little slap delay. That's not important. Uh, you know, shout out to all my haters in the comments who be like, oh, you didn't show the delay. You didn't show the delay. No way. You didn't show the delay. Like, come on. A delay ain't going to make a difference in your song. If you're trash, you're trash pretty much okay here's the reverb as well that we had for trippy uh nothing crazy just like the stock preset on the many m reverb i like this reverb because you can do a bunch of different effects and i used the a uh, little bit of distortion kind of helped to give it a little tory lanes i can't say the tory lanes uh distortion effect completely you know the hairy reverb but oh you know a tory lanes uh tutorial is actually coming pretty soon so yeah we'll talk about that a little bit further i need you in my life in my life So really kind of using the reverb for positioning. And whenever I hear a big, big cloudy beat like this, cloud rap type of beat, I always have hella pre-delay because I don't want my reverb to start right away, you know, especially if the beat got hella reverb because then you ain't going to hear nothing. You know, you're going to jump in the pool with a face full of water. And yeah, it's going to be like if you jump in the pool, you got water all up in your ears. You can't hear anything because you got too much water inside of the, of the whole track. So after that, we got a little doublet preset, like literally nothing crazy, just making the vocal sound just a, a tad bit wider. You know, honestly, that's irrelevant. We're not gonna go over that. After that, we have something like the R comp. Um, the preset is uh, vocal rap squash. And I like this one a lot because it really just helps bring a little bit of presence without any of the analog character, you know? So like I said, pick and choose, you know, I could have did a CLA 76 on parallel compression, but I said, nah, my vocals kind of already like saturated and seasoned to taste, you know, rotisserie chicken already kind of feeling like it's done. So I'm not trying to throw it back inside the oven. So I'll use something clean, uh, you know, kind of like a clean type of situation for this. Alive in my life, All right, and one more time, let's run it back to a trippy res vocal real quick. Let's see how close we got. Reside, you reside. Please make them go switch inside, switch inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, please don't throw your love away. Please don't throw your love away. Please don't throw your love. Okay, so 100% accuracy, like we just checked again. Let's run through the ad libs very fast. Pretty much with these ad libs, they kind of come at the same time that the lead vocal was coming in there. So we kind of used the lead vocal chain, but made a couple of adjustments to it. Uh, kind of put the uh, CLA 76 first, just because these are ad libs and you know they have a little bit shorter transient, shorter sustain. So I wanted a compressor that was a little bit more responsive, a little bit more grabby that could really just you know bite at it. Versus where the lead vocal has a 3A, which has a slower attack, slower release. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, a CLA 76 just to kind of grab that initial transient of the, of the background vocals yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially, I'm treating them ad libs like breakfast time, and I'm just completely pumbling them all together, literally just whipping off the top of that transient because I really don't need it. Because Trippy Red's vocal, I done already made it sound so present. Now I'm managing my transients between my vocal. I don't want to, I don't want to, ooh, I don't want to, like, you know, um, bust. Hmm. 
burst of air. I don't want two bursts of air getting in the way of each other. You know what I mean? Because it's just not going to sound right. After that, at that point, I'm kind of carving around the mid-range because the vocal is mostly like mid-range dense. So my ad-libs, understanding that the lead vocal ad-lib going to play at the same time, I carved out this huge scoop of ice cream, you know, this huge scoop of mid-range. And I boosted just a little top so we can still understand what's going on and everything like that with the background vocals. Design, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just that basic EQ move right there alone literally like made everything blend in. And then after that, of course, we have an SSL uh, G channel. Literally, I, I um only thing I did different here was actually using the uh, compressor on uh, limiter mode. And with the limiter mode, it kind of brought back a little bit of the transient because I didn't want to make it too flat now. I still wanted to have some type of impact. But for the most part, these are supposed to hug. These are supposed to be like the best friend to the lead vocals. They really supposed to just put their arms around it and say, I appreciate you and hug the lead vocals. So that's what I imagined in my head. So a lot of times I just use my imagination when I mix and I go based off of like, okay, I see an image in my head. How can I like make it sound like that in the actual mix through my ears? And then I start listening to like, does this just sound like the background vocals and the lead vocal are friends and they're hugging it like a little shit like that. It just makes this music stuff easier, you know? So everybody's different, but I like to imagine uh, with my mind and I ear imagine with my ears, you feel me? So uh, the J37 tape, of course, I put it on 7.5 IPS. That has a poor high end, so it sounds a little bit more lo-fi, a little more grunge. Rolled off a lot of bottom. I switch yeah, yeah, yeah. So gluing things is a mindset. It's not just a stupid bus compressor. You see how I glued things together kind of by using the same uh, type of 76, you know, as well as kind of like around the same plugins that all kind of bring the same tonal characteristic. But then the moves that I was actually making gave it a little bit of separation. You can hear the background vocal and you can hear the lead vocal, but still together it has glue, but at the same time separation, you know? So that mixing shit is kind of like Play-Doh a little piece. Cause you know, sometimes you play with that Play-Doh, you ball it up. And then other times you play with that Play-Doh, you rip it up. So it's literally like the same exact shit. Like it's nothing like over the top or complicated. So if you guys do like this template, you will find the link down below, okay? I just want to say thanks a lot for being a great part of my YouTube family. Don't forget, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys now. Peace.